What would you tell 19-year-old version of Luke Belmore if you had the chance? That it's possible. That you can do it. Whatever you want in life, you can have. Yeah. But you're going to have to pay. The price. The price. Damn. That's true. Nice. All right. What's one lesson which you wish you lear- would have learned sooner in life? That the most important thing is the development of yourself. Most people focus on one lane. They focus on money or they focus on health or they focus on relationships. They never focus on truly becoming wealthy. Wealth, by definition, I've said this before and I'll say it again, is abundance. That is what you want in life, abundance. Making sure that you are complete. Had I learned this before, my health would have been in check earlier. My relationships would have been in check earlier. I said this to you before, and I said this to you at lunch. I said, everybody says that being a billionaire is stressful, being a billionaire is hard, being a billionaire requires sacrificing every other other area of your life. Why? Why Because he loves fat. (laughs) Yeah, but why why can't I do it a different way? Yeah. Why can't I be happy to the billion? Yeah. Why do I have to compromise my family to get to a billion? Why do I have to compromise my morality or my spirituality to get to a billion? Why do I have to compromise my health? that. I'm taking it all. I'm gonna build a life of balance true wealth. Had I learned a lesson before, I would have potentially built a a more dynamic lifestyle that allowed me to, I would say, be more well-rounded. Mm. And it's something that I had to develop and focus on later on in my life, in my, in my later 20s. But yeah, a lot of people are focused on one lane, one lane only. And once they master that lane, then they realize, oh shit, like I have neglected all of these things in my life. So I have to take retroactive steps, go all the way back yeah. to continue pushing. Damn. Instead of building slowly Slowly, every area of your life true wealth is what matters i wish i would have learned that lesson a little bit earlier and you know hopefully people (laughs) learn a thing or two g yeah Yeah. definitely um do you ever wake up one day and just like not feel like doing anything like you just don't want to work just not not don't of course yeah 100 percent. every person dude yeah every person doesn't mean you don't do it you just push yourself it's not even pushing yourself i guess it's easy to work hard when you have the motivation it's It's, those days that you actually have to test it's and and that's the thing is like if you're not motivated it's for a few reasons either you don't like what you're doing either you don't understand the mission as to why you're doing something dude if your family's starving if you have to feed your kids you'll work hard dude you'll get your you'll get shit done most of you guys are comfortable yeah they don't want it soft They don't want it. You don't want it, dude. If you want it, you get up and do it. You do the things that you want to do. You put time into the things that you want to put time into. It was funny because today I told you, you asked me if how much I read. You asked me, do I read a lot? I was like, not as much as I want to. And you were like, no, you read exactly how much you want to. I was like, what? And I I was like, oh yeah. If I wanted to, if I wanted enough, I would have read way more than I than I've read. That's correct. And that's interesting because people people they act like they have to, like they don't have that choice. Sometimes sometimes you feel like you don't have that choice. Everything is a choice, G. Everything. Everything is a choice. The life that you have is the life that you chose. You have to live purposefully. The people life, are just going with the flow. The life that you have is a life that you chose. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. Where you're currently living, what you're currently doing, you chose that. You have like you have people complain about having kids. People complain about having responsibilities. People complain about their rent. People complain about their student loans. Most of these things in life are self-imposed. Yeah, hundred percent. You self-impose all these, all these, all this bullshit. You self-impose a lot of these issues in your life. That's just the nature of the of the game. So when you understand that everything is self-imposed, then you're like, okay, I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed on my responsibilities. I'm going to be more careful about the decisions and the commitments that I make because I understand that there's long-term consequences to it. I see a lot of people complaining, dude, but very few people taking action. Yeah. Most people make excuses. Very few people make moves. Move, exactly, 100%. And sometimes there are circumstances like that life brings to you, but these ones you have to take, you, you can't spend your time complaining about those circumstances that you're in. The only thing you can do is look at the cards that life has given you and play those in the best way you can. Complaining is a loser's trait. Yeah. Complaining is the trait of a person that sees no hope to win. That's the name of the game, bro. That's, that, that, those are the people that I see complaining. It's the people that have time to look at another person. It's like when people hate in the comments. Yeah. You know, for example, I was in a, we're here in, a, in Dubai right now. Somebody who's kind enough to, to, to lend me their McLaren uh, for the weekend. And then somebody commented on my shit. It was like, rented. Okay, nice. And? <laughs> Where am I and where are you? Like, what do you want me to tell you, G? To f- Instead of being like rented, be like, damn, how could I be in Dubai yeah. with Luke Belmar? 
I, mean, I got to get to work. Rented. That's what I was. It thinking. could be rented. It could be leased. It could be owned. The principle doesn't matter. The principle is that you're expending energy on nonsense. That's the message that you choose to send to a person worth tens. That's that's the message that you choose to send the person instead of being like, "Hey, here's a piece of value," like you did. Hey, let me take you out. Let me show you around. Let yeah. me, let me elevate with you. Start changing the paradigm of your. It's the yeah. name of the game, bro. Twenty three boys. Let's. It's time to wake up. Wake the up bro enough with the bullshit enough with the excuses enough with the nonsense enough with being in a situation where you're always complaining where you're always pointing fingers point the fingers at yourself the life that you have is the life that you chose if you don't like the life that you have it's your damn fault dude change make different decisions hang out with different people and still some discipline some habits win